What is going on, everybody? We are back on Madden 24, and we are going to talk about Season 1, what to expect for Season 2, what we want for Season 2. Uh, it's AKA Day. Uh, we're going to go over a bunch of different things in this video. We're going to talk about the schedule that's coming up. Looks like a new promo. Uh, we're going to talk about all that, um, so let's get right into it. So first off, let's just talk about AKA. Um, it is the new new day for AKA. So as you can see here, we have Vernon Davis, the Duke, and Fruit Punch, Marlon Humphrey. A um, couple of really nice looking cards. Uh, that Vernon Davis looks pretty sweet. I've heard maybe Tight End Apprentice. Um, I personally cannot verify that. I haven't seen it. Um, but uh, could be the first tight end with Tight End Apprentice. Marlon Humphrey looking good. You know, he's a big physical, you know, corner. He's got good man, got good zone. He's he's got good stats. Uh, so that is a good card as well, especially you know Ravens theme team, Niners theme teams, everything like that. Those those theme teams kind of have some pretty good cards. So people could be building off of that. Um, store offers were you know very similar like usual. Got this AKA signature pack. From what I saw, you can only buy one of them this go round, but it's gonna give you 286 plus, 282 plus, and two AKA tokens. So very similar to what they've done in the past nothing special there um and then everything else is the same you know just a bundle the super shitty packs and that is it um so again those cards looking nice they did not have an ltd this week so it was really odd that they just had an ltd last week for for andrew luck which i'm not complaining uh you know big colts fan so was super stoked to see andrew luck back in the game but it, it also sucks that he's well over a million coins and i am not paying that much for him um, but we're kind of just going to talk about what we thought of season one. Um, we'll go take a look at like the season pass, the field pass here, where I'm at with it. So I am just about to get, you know, Jalen Ramsey. I'm 18,000 away, but really I have him. I, this isn't tracking for whatever reason. I should have 30 days completed. I'm sure if it's like, you know, other times when it's glitched out, I'll get this tomorrow morning. Um, you know, I'll come, I'll log in and suddenly it'll be there. Um, you know, it's just, Seems to be what's happening. It's kind of frustrating because I can't have my Ramsey upgraded for today. But that is what it is. We will get it. That was the goal. Is I at least wanted to get there. I don't know why I backed out. Uh, but as you can see, it, it. I'm not saying the the total the full field pass was an L, but you know this Ramsey card super nice. But a lot of these other cards, you know, they weren't super useful. Like Reggie White. I mean, I use him, but it's only because I'm very. I, I don't upgrade my team to the max. 83. That's not super accurate. I'm, I am doing that nickel or the nickel. I'm not, I'm doing that uh, three, four odd, uh, have your safeties down. So that's why my lineup is, or my overall is a little bit lower, but I'm only an 85 on like my full, full squad. So it's not like I'm that much better, but um, you know, Reggie White, not the greatest, obviously Bryce Young, he became outdated super, super fast. And this DeAndre Hopkins, again, by the time you were getting him, there was cards that were well, you know, way better than him. These packs, you know, they weren't terrible, but nothing great especially for how long it kind of took between some of these levels uh it really kind of seemed like it came in waves like you know if you were close to getting xp on the field pass or the comp pass or you know the different promos like you jump up sometimes it felt like 10 levels in a week and then sometimes it was like one or two so uh overall i wouldn't say the field pass was a huge you know was a total l but once you get up here it's really not worth i mean i know people are stressing out about not being able to max it out and I will say that it's crazy that you you damn near had to have like a perfect attendance for the dailies and complete every little thing to get to max only to get a Triumph Elite Pack. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's not worth it at all. So this field pass does expire, as you can see in the upper left there, in one day in 18 hours. However, when you go and you look at the competitive field pass, it ends in three days and 19 hours. So to me, that means that if you are close to say like this, this 25,000 season XP or, or like especially these fifties, you know, different like that. Well, I, I'm not even close. I didn't make it very far on this one, obviously, as you can see, but if you're close, wait to get these until that new season comes out, because I don't see why this wouldn't count towards the new season. It doesn't, I don't see anywhere on here where it says 25,000 season one xp so if season two is out and you're close to one of these i would 
or if you're close to one of them, wait, 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 wait. Use that XP to get a big boost in that season two uh, field pass. So, but I'm also seeing people talk about this. And again, I did not grind this a ton. I didn't realize the weight that was put on Mutt Champs until way too late. Like you get so much XP for Mutt Champs. And then like solo battles, you, you do get some, but not nearly as much. And then head to head seasons. Wow, they really don't make this worth playing. I mean, it's worth it for, I suppose, for like the, the Super Bowls. You know, if you're good enough to win the Super Bowls consistently, then obviously those packs are worth it. But like for the competitive pass, I mean, six, two, two, six, six. I mean, it, you get nothing. The milestones were legit, uh, but the head to head seasons, they, they, need to, they need to change that up a little bit. Not maybe place so much weight on Mutt Champs. And then especially not only during, like only tracks during wins. I mean... That just doesn't make any sense to me. If I'm getting team tackles, I'm getting team tackles. You're you're just promoting people to quit out the moment they get behind the slightest because what's the point of doing it if it's not tracking towards anything? There's no reason to play much champs in terms of like top 100, stuff like that. And then you make it only track during wins and there's even less reason to do that. Um, so I didn't realize it. so much weight was placed on that. Um, but overall, I think the comp pass was pretty legit. This 89... You know, I for sure wanted to grind to get this 89 Legends player. And as you can see right here. Let's go. It was very much so worth waiting. Um, I, I saved that specifically for a Saturday to do that. Um, and it paid off big time. So we do actually still have that card. Um, but overall, I mean, I think it was pretty legit. You got, you were able to get two two full legends if you completed it this george pickens was good but again by the time you could unlock him there was just as good of cards out there as well again comp pass i don't think it was a total l but i think they need to rebalance where you get those from i personally think you should be able to do even if you want to do solo battles i think you should be able to do solo ba solo battles and complete half of it you know and maybe you could have i again i didn't grind a ton on the comp pass uh i just didn't I, don't, I just don't have a ton of time, but so maybe if you did every single solo battle thing every day, you know, did, did the dailies plus every single solo battle each week, maybe you could have got halfway through. I don't really know. You know, as far as these other ones, I did get pretty far on them. Uh, headliners, I think I got to the very last one. Campus Heroes, uh, I don't really, I got to 9 out of 10. I'm not really sure how far that is. So fairly close. Ultimate Kickoff, I think it's, you're going to see a pattern here, but... We're pretty close. I didn't do any of those showdowns. Uh, nope, 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 nope. And what's, what is dumb about this is that this is a requirement to complete the pass and they got rid of it. So it was a very time time sensitive thing. I might have done this just to get the 88. Uh, I don't, I do like that they did that. The 88 or the 85, you know, 88 BND or 85, you know, sellable. That's legit. I wish wish they did it with more of the, the promos. I do believe we're getting new team captains for for season two as well. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what those are. So do tune in. I think the special stream is tomorrow night. So Tuesday night, EA is going to be, I believe, streaming. And from what I've heard, going over the season two field pass and the comp field pass, even though the comp pass doesn't come out until Thursday, I believe. So I believe they're going over all of that, though. So tune in if you want to, you know see what's going on there we're still rocking rg3 i will be getting andrew luck at some point but again i'm not paying that much money he it's just the name i'd be paying for rg3 does almost everything i want him to do you know with some exceptions sometimes i'm like man that was a terrible throw but most of the time it's me i could probably have a two million coin uh qb and i'm still gonna throw stevie wonders out there so it doesn't matter too much but that's where we're at with there um one thing I would possibly, you know, for investors out there is look at 87s. Um, try to find some cheap 87s. Unfortunately, you probably did miss the boat if you are wanting to invest on that because, you know, they they absolutely tanked over the weekend when there was a pack that came out. It was like 75% off. It, it, was, it was actually a pretty crazy pack. I did not buy it, but it was 
by far the best deal we've had so far. It crashed the market big time. A few things to keep in mind, um, you know, getting ready for the season two. We got that new Unstoppable promo coming on Thursday, I believe as well. Hispanic Heritage promo, which for no money spent people, sometimes there can be some decent value in there. I'm sure there'll be like maybe 86, 87 players, overall players. Um, might be able to plug them in. Historically speaking, those cards are usually not the greatest, but sometimes they can fill in those positions that maybe you don't want to spend money on. You can grind a couple solos, get a halfway decent card, plug it in there. So anyways, uh, that's just a little bit of a rundown of how my season one went, what I thought of season one. A couple of things that I'm hoping for in season two, but I really hope they, they fix the roles. I think roles, like training roles, have absolutely just been terrible this year and that just takes away so much of the fun um so i hope those kind of get fixed a little bit i don't know if tvps are going to be a thing or not that mystery pack i know people are having some fun with that that can be that can be a good way to make some coins you know especially if you get lucky and you don't get any of those get a golds but let me know down below what you guys think of of the of season one of the comp pass of the field passes kind of the state of madden what you're hoping for going forward and uh I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and tune back in for some more season two stuff. We'll probably go over that on Thursday. Uh, we'll probably be when I make that next video. Season two will be coming out. I'm sure I believe it comes out Wednesday. And, but I, you know, I'm not going to probably make a video until Thursday about it. Go over that and the comp pass, all that stuff, the new promo. So hopefully we'll catch you then and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.